Okay, so one of the things that we learn in calculus is how to find the derivative of an inverse function at a certain point, which is pretty strange. It's very isolated, and we really, this is, we kind of only use it at this one instant, which is, makes it difficult to remember how to apply it, you know, after we leave this. But um, in, a, in the prior video, we talked about properties of inverse functions, and one of the properties we said that if two functions, we called them f and g, are inverses of one another, they, um, you know, meet this criteria, f of g of x is equal to x, uh, amongst other things. But that was one of the things we said, that definitely inverse functions meet this criteria. Okay, So what is going to happen with these types of problems is, which is kind of strange, you're going to be given a function f of x, and you're going to be asked to find the derivative of the inverse of f of x. So in this case, g is the inverse of f of x. So in this case, you'd be asked to find the uh, derivative of g without even knowing what the function g is, okay? And you'd be asked to find it at a certain point. So, you know, very kind of strange and awkward, but um, so the goal is, given the function f of x, find the derivative of the inverse function um, of f of x. So in this case, we're calling the derivative of the inverse, uh, or the derivative function is g, so we're going to try and find the derivative of g, g prime. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this in order to help us come up with our formula for that. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to uh, take the derivative of each side of this. And again, this, I know this is true of all inverse functions. So if I take the derivative of each side, on the left side I have to apply the chain rule. Start with my outer function first, so take the derivative of f, which is f prime. Keep my inner function the same. And then I have to multiply times the derivative of my inner function, which is g prime of x. On the right side, the derivative of x is just 1. So my goal here is to figure out what is the derivative of g prime. Or what is the derivative of g, which is g prime? Because we're calling g the inverse of f. So we want to find the derivative of the inverse of f. Um, so I want to find g prime of x. What I can do is I'm just going to divide this over here, and I'm going to get the g prime of x is equal to 1 over f prime of g of x. So this right here is my formula that I'm going to need to remember for finding the derivative um, of an inverse of a function, which we'll look at an example of right now. 